Uh, yes, hello. I just called uh, another department of the FBI and they gave me the number to your office directly and told me to phone you. Uh, I have a very important matter I need to uh, extend uh, a communication about. I'm currently in out of the country, uh, but I have a dual citizenship. I'm um, an American citizen, uh, and I'm currently in Norway uh, dealing with... Contact with the State Department. Okay, can you give me that number, please? Um, I don't know the number to the embassy in Oslo, sir, but that would be your first point of okay. contact. Uh, okay, uh, I am having problems with anybody in this country, and I need to communicate so this report. The is not run by people in the country of Norway; it's run by the United States of America. So, whoever you contact at the embassy of the United States will be a worker with the State Department, not in any way uh, of anybody in Norway. Okay, but what you're saying is procedure would dictate that I would have to speak to the office in Oslo uh, that handles okay. this matter. Okay, but I'm asking you, please, as a human being. I would contact the State Department. They'll make all pertinent records and investigations. Okay, now, don't misunderstand me. I'm just asking if you can please take record of my call that I reported that these okay, crimes are taking place. And so if at some point in the future someone needs to make reference of it, just note the time and date. Okay, because I would like to express... Yes, sir, there's nothing further I'm going to be able to assist you with. Please Is there maybe a supervisor there that I can talk to? Okay. Goodbye. I just need a phone number. The death toll has now risen to 92, so many of the victims' children. That number is expected to climb. And this evening, we're getting the first full picture of the horror as authorities piece together what happened. The killer's meticulous planning. Police warn people, leave the city center or stay at home. Two hours later, another attack on an island an hour away. A man dressed as a policeman approached a crowd of youths attending a summer camp. He pulled out an automatic weapon and sprayed them with bullets. Uh, this policeman has come up and uh, said that he is there to help you. All of a sudden you realize actually this policeman is starting to shoot all of you. We're just getting some updates on what appears to be a terrorist bombing in Oslo, Norway. We're now on our way away from the blast site. A 32-year-old man allegedly dressed in a police uniform opened fire and murdered 84 people. He told them he was there to help them and told them to come close and then he pulled an automatic weapon out of his bag it started killing people. To make sure they were dead, he pulled a shotgun out of the bag and finished the job. The cops are outside with lasers. What you could say is, I guess, an informant, you know, that said that he had to tell everyone he wasn't speaking to us, but he was still at the same time, un you know, uh, undercover basically yep. trying to investigate this whole thing and again he uncovered more details of this plot you know and uh, came with more information the shooter arrives at the ferry dock for Utoya Island some of my friends went down to to greet the policeman and then we heard gunshots like an instinct that told me don't run that way so I Run down to 15 of my uh, of my friends and said that come come with me uh, run in the forest and then we run through the forest maybe for 500 meters uh, with a man uh, with the gun running behind us chasing us and uh, we got to, to this cabin in the middle of the woods uh, and then he he turned around and uh, and went back to the main building. Uh, 
Uh, we're doing, we did nothing wrong. Can you please make sure the police do not take my videotape? So just to tell our viewers what we're talking about here, we understand uh, from NRK, the uh, state broadcaster there, that there is an attack ongoing. This is a, a terrorist uh, attack.